Hello everyone, I made a new series for you where I show you how to make an interaction system. In total it will have 7 tutorials and it's beginner friendly explained, so let me show you how it looks. You can see here we can focus an actor, you can see an outline and we can press a key. Then we can hold the key down for a certain amount of time and it moves up. Also we can modify the time that we need to press. Here's another example where we can see we can't focus from everywhere, only from one side, only if the character is standing inside of this box. That's an optional feature that you can use. And also as another example, I made here an interaction time of 0 seconds, that means that we can interact instantly. And of course, as you can also see here, it's completely um, multiplayer replicated. Let me show you an example how easy it would be to make this actor here interactable. So currently this actor is just a cube and on the begin can play after 3 seconds place this timeline that moves the cube 175 units up. Nothing more, let me show you how it looks. So after 3 seconds it moves up and I will show you now how to make it interactable so we can First focus it, see an outline effect, see that we can press E to interact and then it move, moves upwards or downwards. So to do that, here in this actor, go to class diff, class settings and on the interfaces, search for interaction, BI interaction at the interface. You see here the interface functions, we can implement an event for for interface toggle focus implement event or and for interface interact. Let's start with the focus. Um, here we need to go to the cube here and search for custom dev. As you can see the stencil value is by default on zero and we want to have it on one by default. Uh, we need to enable this here quickly for Run a custom dev to change the value, so change it other than uh, 0, for example, to 1. Now we can disable this again, just make sure that it's here default by 1. So we can go back to the event graph, grab the cube, set run the custom dev based on this value here. Our next step, let's make this. Uh, Instead of event we can play, moving up to a custom event, so remove these two nodes and add here a custom event, call it animate lift with an input, boolean input, it should move up or down, on true it should play and on reverse, it should, on false it should reverse. So compile. Now next step is adding a custom event and call it interact on server. Set it to run on server and reliable. Also when we're doing this, go here to class defaults and under replication, set it to replicate on true and if it's an important replication, set always relevant also to true. So here, event interface interact, I want to call this interact on server event. And in here we want to create a boolean toggle. So create a bool, call it maybe interact rep. Set it to rep notify, it's important. Then set it here, I want to set it to the opposite not boolean. So we've created a small toggle and because this is set to rep notify, created this function here. You can also click double click on this. And in here we can trigger the uh, animate lift function. And as input here we can choose our intact rep variable. Now let's go to the viewport. We want to make our interactable 
or focusable area to do that. Uh, let's add here a child actor and search here in the child actor class for interaction. We could choose interaction area box would actually fit really good to this cubic uh, lift mesh here. But if you have a mesh in, the, in another shape and you want to have it fit to that, we'll show you how you could do that with custom shape. So I would select here custom shape. We can then select here any custom shape. It should be then traceable for the player. Or we'll select here cube. You can enable in the dev mode. Also, want to grab this child actor as a child here to the cube because this cube in our case here will be animated and we want to have this interaction area followed. So then we can scale this cube here and make sure that it's bigger actually than our cube. So the cube won't block the this area here. Maybe like, like this. Um, can disable the dev mode here again when it's got placed. Then you can also see here interact duration. If it's zero, then we can interact instantly, but I will set it to one. So we need to hold a key one second to actually interact. So next step is adding the widget. We could add here a widget component, but it's even more easy to go to an existing uh, interactable actor that you have already made. Just copy the widget from here, paste it here. I will also add it as child to the cube, drag it in the center, and now we can play. So you can see here, and focus, see E for interact. If you're pressing E, holding E, it moves upwards. If you're holding E again, it moves down again. And I'll also show you in multiplayer, two players, maybe as client, so we get a dedicated server experience. So let's move here, let's go with the other player and move him up. Move him up. And we can move down again, so you see it's perfectly replicated. Then there's also another feature. We can go here back to another actor. I've implemented the box here, copy it, and paste it here. And this feature is that the character has to stand in the box to be able to focus our interactable actor. Otherwise it won't be possible. So here in the box, go to collision settings. That doesn't copy correctly. Make sure everything is on ignore, but pawn is on overlap. So the usual collision preset for the capsule of characters. Um, then, next step. Um, so this this box here has a stack box that should be copied. You could also take a sphere or a capsule or so as, as area here, but the tag should be should have a tag named box and. Also, why I'm saying this of the tag, this interaction widget needs a tag of interact, but that also copied when we copied it earlier. So then we can click on the child actor and here in the settings and the character needs to be in box. We're going to set it on true. And now if you're compiling and save, playing, we see we can't trace it, but if the character inside of the box you can interact can be really useful if it should be only interactable from one side finally let me show you another function that is triggering after interaction but it's not mean to trigger any stuff inside of the actor but for the player self so for example if we interact with an actor and want to create a widget based on some data in the actor or so so I show you how to use that if you're a parent actor. Uh, we can check here if this parent actor 
class get class we can check if that is for example the lift i showed you before and if so could now get here make use of the the actor here cast to the same class and then for example get some data here that you have stored in there and can for example print a string or say and do some stuff here create a widget or whatever you want to do add some xp xp points or so yeah that was the last feature i wanted to show you and that also wraps up the whole video the showcase of my interaction system enjoy it and see you in the first part